And one more segment pointing to my gaming could break the App Store hypothesis. Google says that Stadia is indeed coming to iOS in a mere matter of weeks, and yes, it's going to come as a Safari PWA workaround, quoting 9to5Google. This upcoming Google Stadia app on iOS will not be an app in the traditional sense, as it will arrive as a progressive web application or PWA, which is similar to that of Amazon's Luna cloud gaming platform. This allows Google to effectively dodge the App Store rules and regulations by being a direct web browser link that is optimized for iOS players. The Stadia Progressive Web app on iOS may actually come missing some certain features during the initial beta phase, but is likely to gain features as this testing phase expands. No word was shared on which regions will be first to get access to the Stadia PWA for iOS, with several weeks from now being the only indication, end quote. So perhaps I should go ahead and elucidate my hypothesis more clearly. It's not that I think gaming has the potential to completely break the App Store, to force Apple to take all the shackles off. It's more that, number one, these workarounds are just teaching everyone how to work around the App Store and make it increasingly irrelevant. And number two, all of this has the potential to peel gaming out of the App Store, to carve it out in a meaningful way. So let's say five to ten years from now, cloud gaming really is the next big thing. It's how most gaming is done. Well, in that scenario, it might be done completely outside of the App Store. We've taken for granted that the App Store is the orifice through which most of us do what we do on iOS. But what if gaming, a huge use case for mobile for a lot of folks, sees the App Store increasingly as an irrelevancy. That might cause people to think of the whole App Store as an irrelevancy, as not a fun, creative gateway, but as a dumb, boring, again, orifice through which the cool stuff does not flow and instead is just home to mundane tools like some sort of glorified, I don't know, Microsoft Office-style productivity suite and App Store. In other words, gaming could break the App Store by taking the significance and sexiness away from it. Because who wants to deal with boring orifices? I wasn't using that phrase lightly. Google the phrase Steve Jobs working with orifice. Far from scary pictures, what you'll find is that orifice was a favorite term of scorn for Steve Jobs. Like in this quote, The problem with a phone, Steve Jobs said in 2005, is that we're not very good at getting through orifices to get to end users. By orifices, he meant carriers like Verizon and AT&T, which had final say over which phones could access their networks, end quote. Yeah, no one likes working with orifices. Orifices. 